Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you what to do if your Samsung EcoBubble washing machine is displaying the error code DC, DC1, or DC2. Error codes usually appear on your washing machine's display screen and indicate that there is a fault with your appliance. These three error codes usually mean that the door on the washing machine is not locking correctly. Here, we will show you what to check and how to fix the issue. Before carrying out any work, make sure your washing machine is turned off and fully disconnected from the mains. To complete this repair, you will need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver and a pair of pliers. This may be an obvious one, but it's worth checking that the door is closed properly and is locked into position. If the door is slightly ajar, this could be the reason for the error code appearing. If the door is closed fully but is not locking in position, then it could mean that the door lock is faulty. When you shut the door fully and start up a cycle on the machine, you should hear the sound of the door locking. If you hear no click or you hear two clicks, this could be an issue with the door lock. And now I'm going to show you how to replace the door lock on your washing machine. First, open the washing machine door and remove the clamp. The clamp is a circular wire that's wrapped around the outer door seal. You can remove it by finding the spring and using a flat headed screwdriver, pulling the clamp free. Next, reach under the door seal where the door lock is located. Take hold of the door lock assembly and remove the two screws that hold it in place using your Phillips screwdriver. You will then be able to push the door lock back into the appliance and pull it out through the side of the door seal. The electrical connections will still be attached to the door lock after you do this. You will need to disconnect them in order to free it entirely. Before you do this, make a mental note or take a picture of the connections so you can remember where to fit them into the new door lock later. When disconnecting the electrical connections, they can be a little tricky due to their awkward positioning. If so, you may need to use a pair of pliers or a flathead screwdriver to help work them free. Before you begin, you'll need to purchase a replacement door lock that is suitable for your washing machine. To do this, you're going to need to find the model number. You can watch our video here on how to find the model number of your washing machine. You'll also find a link to replacement door locks in the description below. To fit the new door lock, first reconnect the electrical connections. If you took a photo earlier, you can use that for reference. Reposition the door lock inside the machine. Then using your Phillips screwdriver, screw the door lock back into place with the two screws you removed earlier. Once the new door lock is secure, make sure you readjust the seal so that it is positioned back around the door frame. Finally, refit the clamp by pulling it around the front of the door seal. Again, if you have any problems refitting it, you can use a flat headed screwdriver to help you. We hope this video has helped you to remove the error codes from your washing machine and that your door is now locking correctly. Now your washing machine is working correctly, you can make the most of it by getting to know your washing machine settings. Our video here takes you through the different settings on your washing machine to make sure you're using it correctly and that your laundry stays fresher for longer. For more videos on fixing and maintaining your household and garden appliances, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.